Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cute little octopus. So, let's get started. And then, I'm going to go in to my first crocheted hole and go in, loop over and pull through, loop over and then pull through and just like that. And then I like to knot it off by just doing that. So now I'm trying to find the middle here. Hold on. Okay. The middle is, you want to put your hook in the middle of the circle and loop over. You're going to do uh, single crochet stitches, which there's a tutorial on how to do that as well. So basically, I'm going to do six, either six or however many I need, in the circle. So just like I'm doing now. Do it one more time. So now that I've completed my circle, I'm going to end it off the same way that I started it. I'm going to loop it through, loop it over, and pull it through. And that is basically my first row. And this is probably the most important row because now what you're going to do is you're going to do, well, first you're going to loop over and pull it through. That's what you're going to do first. And then you're going to take your crocheting hook, pull it through, and do, this is all going to be um, single crochets. And you want to go... You want to do two single crochets into the single crochet that you just did. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, so now you have your second row, so now what you want to do is um, you want to go into your first stitch and do one single crochet, and then in your second stitch you're going to do two single crochets, and then you're going to do um, vice versa, and then I'll show you. And then you want to do one, let's just say every other, um, stitch that you do on the one, no matter if it's, uh, two, um, single crochet, single crochet stitches, or if it's one single crochet, crochet stitch, um, you want to do, uh, one in one single crochet and two in another so i'm gonna let you guys do that after i show you one more time so now that i've done the third row you can kind of see it start starting to take shape you want to do single crochet around and then I will let you know what to do after that. So you just want to do single crochets now all the way around, just like so.
Okay, so now that you increase to make the circle, you're now going to decrease. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your first stitch and you're still doing single crochet stitches just like that. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and pull it through, pull the string through, and then you're going to go into your next one to decrease it. To increase it. Okay, so now you can see that it's starting to curve, which is good. Um, you're just gonna do a few, maybe two to three rows of single crochet, crochet stitches um, all around. No increasing, no decreasing, just straight, just straight up uh, single crochet stitches. So I'm gonna let you guys uh, do that and I will meet you guys back. Okay, so now I have three rows of the single crocheted stitches. Now what we're going to do is flip it over and we're going to add on the eyes. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to sew the eyes either. You could either do them this way or you can do them up and down. I will do them this way just so you guys can see. Um, what I do. So basically all I do is sew in the string, I pull it through, and then all I do is knot it. So that way it doesn't come loose. And the reason I have it on the inside, um, the reason I have the octopus um, flipped inside out so that way you can leave the loose strings and they won't show. So that is why I have it, um, turns, turned inside out. And just like that, you cut it. And then, you go through, you don't want to do it super tight either, you kind of want to do it loosely make sure nothing else gets knotted up into it. just like that and then you uh, keep going So now that I have both eyes attached, what we want to do is flip it over and you'll have two cute little eyes. Ta da! Now, you don't have to make them that big either. Um, they don't have to be that big. Um, they can be smaller if you want. So, our next step now is to stuff this basically with uh, stuffing and show you guys how to do that so basically what you want to do is you want just basically put it in there just like that and then um, if you
you need a little extra, just put some in there. You could put as much or as little as you want, and then you just crochet it shut, and I will show you guys how to do that. If the straight cooperates, sometimes, maybe. Okay, there we go. And my finger's gonna get, nope, I'm good. So basically, now you want to. You want to close up your octopus so basically you're doing the same thing as you were when you um, first uh, started shaping it so basically you're gonna do one single crochet and then you're gonna do um, another single crochet but you want to combine it so you want to do this basically I should also mention to you guys that there's gonna be a um <coughs> oh my goodness there's gonna be a merchandise video coming out soon so stay tuned Okay, so now that I'm getting close to closing it, I'm gonna just go every other stitch and still do um, a single crochet. Basically, I'm skipping every other stitch to close it. So I basically have it now to where I'm going to sew it in. So I just made a slip knot. And I'm going to find my needle here. So now we can sew this shut. Oops. If this cooperates. So now, we're going to sew it shut. Um, I just wanted to take a, a moment and just talk about the wildfires that are um, happening in Canada. Um, I feel really bad for the people that have already lost their homes. A lot of acres have been burnt. Um, we don't know if there's any animals that have been endangered or anything, but... Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are praying for you, my family and I, and yeah, hopefully uh, the fighter fighters that are out there are controlling the fires in Canada and hopefully everything is going to be okay. So now I'm going to sew this off, basically. And that is how you sew it off, and then I'm going to just sew it 
through and then I'm gonna just cut it and it should stay in place. So just like that and then you want to take your keychain and put it through and you're basically going to sew that in as well just like you did with the bot just like you did with the bottom all right thanks for watching you guys um don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it bye so i am now doing the legs for the octopus that i did earlier today so i'm gonna make this quick so basically all you gotta do is make a chain and then you're just gonna do single crochet stitches into each of them and you can make this probably like i would say your finger length or like a four or full finger length it depends on what you want and how long you want them but i have them go for a decent uh length so that might be good so now i'm skipping the first hole because otherwise it's not gonna it's gonna want to twist around my crocheting hook so now i'm just doing single crochet crochet stitches make sure you guys can see that then I'm gonna show you guys how I sew on the legs so this is basically it and I will let you guys do the rest they'll basically come out like this nice and beautiful so yeah Okay, so now I'm going to attach the leg. Now, this is basically what I do. I'll go in and sew just like that. And it's just like you're sewing. I like to tighten these because I've had a few of them that were loose. The legs were, like, completely loose. And if I sell these to little kids, and they might rip off. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to sew these on nice and tightly, and then I'm going to just, um, I'm going to suture it together, so that way these never come loose in the future. And that should not, just like that, hopefully I didn't lose thing here so now I just sew it and go through and I will do the other leg or the other side So now I'm going to do the other side, and I'm going to go right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other leg. I'm going to suture it nice and tightly. And then I'm going to knot it off. And just like that. And then you sew the loose end right into the material. And then you cut it. And there you have it. And then you would attach these or your other legs as well. So they, it looks like a little octopus. Looks like a little octopus.